Hey my friends, in this video I'm going to share with you a cute, quick little hairstyle that I think is pretty cute. You may or may not agree. You can let me know in the comments below when you make your opinion about it. But I think it's a quick, easy way to look cute, especially when you're partway through the transition because that's what we're mainly facing when we're transitioning our hair, especially within the first year, year and a half. I mean, well, let's face it, it can be difficult probably at any stage, but there are things that can make it easier and a little bit cuter along the way. So if that's what you're interested in, to at least see if you agree that this style might be something that you might want to try, that's coming up for you right here. I shot this footage at least a couple of months ago. It was actually when I shot the footage for how to disguise the line of demarcation by making the gray look longer with the dry shampoo. I loved how my hair looked so much when I put that in that I went on and filmed a few more videos right after that. I do tend to batch film. I've commented on that now and then in my videos. It makes it easier. A lot of YouTubers that keep up with their content, not that I'm so great on that part all the time, but it's actually one of the tricks of the trade to make several videos at one time. So anyway, that would be why my hair looks like the grow out is longer than it currently is. I also filmed some of my yoga footage with my hair like that. Part of my reason for doing that was that I didn't necessarily think that the only people who might be drawn to watch those videos would be people who were already familiar with my channel. And as such, if they weren't viewers who were already familiar with my channel and that I'm growing my hair out, they might just think I looked unkept. While I am completely comfortable going around like this or with it down or whatever and not really disguising it just in my day-to-day -day life, there are some circumstances in which I do feel, at least even for myself, that some consideration does need to be given. And in that sense, I chose to make those YouTube videos with the dry shampoo still in my hair so that I would just look a little bit more polished in case someone was new to my channel when they first saw that. But I also filmed this with the dry shampoo still in my hair. So here we go. I hope you like it. Let me know once you find out in the comments below. Hey, my friends, so I wanted to show you a cute hairstyle that you can do while your hair is growing out. Just simply take this top portion and kind of put it back so it's kind of puffy. And then you can just take a clip like this or any clip that you like. I mean, obviously, if I was going to go to like an office or something, I wouldn't put a bright pink one back there. But, um, but anyway, like that's cute, right? All right. You can put like a little wisps here. Let me know if you liked this hairstyle. You could see how fast it was to do and it looks cute. I even think it looks really pretty with partially transitioned out hair and the dark hair. I, you know, there's so much ombre stuff going on right now. I actually think this looks really cute. Let me know if you agree. Uh, and thanks for stopping by. I'll see you around here soon. Again, soon. All right. Take care, my friends.